We are back for another day of the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 Countdown, and at number 4 team in the country, we have the Creighton Blue Jays. What's up, college basketball fans? I'm Hoop Scoop Media co-founder Austin Getchy, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 College Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. Under Greg McDermott's leadership, Creighton has been one of the best rising programs in the country. He led them in their transition from the Missouri Valley and the past few years has really been seeing some success. He's typically known as an offensive coach, usually being one of the most efficient shooting teams in the country. However, the past few years, McDermott teams have also excelled on the defensive end of the ball. Each of the past five years, the Blue Jays have improved in that category and are coming off of two straight years at being the best of Big East during conference play. This year, McDermott has assembled a very solid team on both sides of the ball that has a chance to go back deep in March. The Blue Jays do, however, lose some solid pieces from last year. They lost a few starters to the portal and Ryan Nephard committed to Gonzaga and Arthur Kluma, who committed to Kansas State, both who were big parts of their recent success. Sharif Mitchell, another rotation player, hit the portal and committed to Ohio. Despite losing a few starters, the Blue Jays still bring back some very important pieces, none more important than big man Ryan Kalkbrenner. He was one of the best offensive players in the country, leading the nation in true shooting percentage. He also doubles as a high-level rim protector and anchor of Creighton's defense. Back in his fourth year with the program, Kalkburner is an All-American candidate and one of the best players in the country. The Blue Jays also got back guard Trey Alexander from the draft process. He was an efficient scorer and showed the ability to do so at all three levels, including leading the Big East in three-point percentage. He's thought of as a potential first-round pick and has a chance to have an even better season this year and achieve that. Next to Alexander on the wing, fifth-year Baylor Shireman returned for his second year at Creighton. Shireman is very valuable as he can shoot, pass, and rebound all at a high level. He could see even more offensive production this year and is another guy hoping to get some NBA buzz. To replace Nemhard in the point guard position, McDermott pulled in one of the best transfers in the portal in Utah State point guard Stephen Ashworth. He's arguably the best shooter in the country making over 100 threes at nearly 43% last season. There shouldn't be a drop off in facilitating either, as Ashworth had an assist rate of over 25%. However, there isn't a clear option for replacing Kluma's spot. One candidate is Mason Miller, who showed shooting flash in his redshirt freshman year, but overall will need to take a jump. Virginia transfer Isaac Trout, a Nebraska native who redshirted as a freshman and was a borderline top 50 year crew, could be another candidate to get minutes there. Retro freshman Jason Green could also play some when he recovers from a recent surgery that will sideline him for the first few weeks. The Blue Jays also have some other solid bench players that could contribute. Francisco Farabello is a former TCU transfer that is theoretically a good shooter. He struggled there last year, but he showed some potential. Frederick King is a backup big man that excels on defense and rebounding and should be a solid Kalkbrenner backup. Jonathan Lawson is a former top 100 recruit and Memphis transfer that provides some length and shooting on the wing. McDermott also brought in three freshmen, none of who are likely to see major minutes right away. Josiah Dutzler is a local product and is a point guard who is also a good shooter. Sterling Knox is a wing from Las Vegas who could have some potential in the coming years. The final commit is Brock Weiss, a big man to add to Creighton's Memphis pipeline. Overall, this Creighton team has a good chance to make it back to where they were last year and potentially even farther. One concern could be with their depth, as last year they played some of the least Benjamins in the country. Their bench is a little improved, but if one of the starters goes down, especially Kalkbrenner, who was out last year for a period that led Creighton to lose six straight, they could be in trouble. As long as they stay healthy though, that won't be a problem. With the Ashworth addition, Creighton becomes one of the best shooting teams in the country, something that McDermott is used to. I currently have the Blue Jays sitting at first in the Big East, but it'll be close between the top group.
Creighton fans, comment below your thoughts and where you'd personally have the Blue Jays ranked this upcoming season. We will be back tomorrow for a number three team in the country. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.